Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Lauren Reed and today I want to talk to you a little bit about school. For some people, school is a place to find new friends, make new hobbies, flaunt your fashion, or even focus on an education. But for us normal people, school is just about the closest thing we'll ever get to a prison yard. For the rest, school is just a place where you're forced to fend off angry little gremlins all day in an attempt to supply food to your families. Now if you're a teacher or a staff member and you resonated with that last statement there, ch shame on you. If you're a student and you just turn to one of your friends and you're like, oh my god, Rebecca, I don't really look like a gremlin, do I? The answer is yes. Yes, you do. You do look like a gremlin, Samantha. Maybe if you hung out with your teachers, they wouldn't think you were such ugly little gremlins, now would they, Samantha? If that isn't a good enough reason to talk to your teachers, I teamed up with my friends Katie and AJ to give you three more reasons why you should talk to your teachers. Hey Revs, I'm Katie. And I'm AJ. And we're gonna go interview our teachers on campus. Let's go. Reason number one, teachers are really interesting people. For example, Mr. Jennison has one of the most interesting stories that I've ever heard. Where did you grow up and how does that affect you in your teaching? I actually grew up overseas. I was born in Indonesia. Um, my parents were missionaries and Bible translators and uh, I ended up moving over here uh, when I was like 10. So it was a big culture shock when I met American kids for the first time and realized, oh, I kind of am one. but. Um, I had to figure out a way to, you know, get involved and uh, I found out later in life that my childhood had a huge impact on what I do, teaching English, because um, I watched my parents for so long um, kind of have this love for language and I realized that that rubbed off on me and I didn't really know it until I look back now, but my love for language I think stems from the, um, the first nine years I had overseas. There's no way you can learn something like that about someone like him without a bit of conversation. Unless you like travel back in time and like follow his infant self through the jungles of Indonesia but that's a bit complicated and I feel like none of us want to actually go through that so reason number two the teachers and staff are at your school for a reason. Are you sure because I'm pretty sure that Teachers are just here to ruin my life, Lauren. Like, you don't know them. Like, they suck. Nobody just woke up one day and decided to be a teacher. They all had to go to college and do other things, you know? There's a lot more to it. <laughs> See, I have proof. So, Ms. Vidal, what do you like about being a counselor here on campus? Um, I like being able to help students who feel like they need someone that they can talk to or someone or a student that has a story to share um, and just needs someone to listen. Last but not least, reason number three, you guys might have something in common. I mean, how many teachers do you know that go fly fishing? Well, if you know who Mr. G is, then congratulations, you know a teacher that goes fly fishing. But for the rest of you, what are you doing with your life? Why don't you know someone who goes fly fishing? Why are you not fly fishing every weekend? Why is this not the main priority in your everyday goals? Um, in my free time, if I have a, if I have a little bit of time, um, I just kind of veg out like everybody else. Watch TV, play video games, hang out, talk with the kids or whatever. Um, but if I have extended free time, I like to go fishing. That's my favorite thing to do. I go fly fishing. I tie little flies up out of yarn and thread and, uh, and try to catch fish. And so it's one of my favorite things to do and I do that anytime I have uh, time off and I have money to, to burn so that I can go and take some fly fishing trips. There are so many teachers and staff on campus that are interested in so many different things that you may not know about because you never talk to them. Well, being the athletic director, I lo absolutely love sports. So I go to a lot of games during my free time. Mm -hmm. I like the Kings. I like the Jethawks. I like the Dodgers. <laughs> and any team from Michigan, I like. So I watch a lot of sports. Mr. Jennison is more than willing to share the recipe to his favorite snack with you. All you gotta do is have a conversation. Um, I uh, grew up eating a uh, sandwich consisting of peanut butter, mayonnaise, and cheese. Oh wow. And it's actually delicious. If you ever want one, I usually keep the ingredients here in my desk, so I'd make you one just so that you could try and realize how tasty it is. If you still don't think that's enough, here's some footage of some other students talking about how much they love their teachers. So, who is your favorite teacher here on campus? I have a couple favorite teachers, actually. Uh, so they are Senora Reyes, Miss Benavides, Mr. Manthe, and Mrs. Estrada. 
Um, I really like them all. Like they've helped me a lot through like this year and last year if I had them last year. And I feel like with these teachers, I'm really actually learning and understanding the classes that they teach. Who are your favorite teachers on campus? I have a lot of favorite teachers actually. I've just been gifted with so many awesome teachers throughout my four years of high school. Um, pretty much all of my math teachers have been phenomenal. I've had Miss Benavides, Mr. Herman, and Miss James. I also love Miss Nictor, Mr. Manthe, of course, as my ASB advisor, and so many more that I probably am forgetting right now. I'm the same with Sam. Like, I have so many favorite teachers, but I think two of my favorites are Miss Simons and Mr. Manthe. Miss Simons is just such a like a giving teacher. Like, I've never had her as a teacher, but every interaction with her, I've worked with her so many times. She's always just been amazing. Mr. Manthe. Is, as an ASB advisor has just been so amazing to me. I had him for psychology and ASB last year and it was just really fun to get to interact with both sides of him because a lot of people don't realize that like he's very different in ASB than he is in psychology but it was really cool to get to see both of those sides because both of them are amazing. And I think Jane and I can also both agree that Gail DeGroff is a phenomenal teacher. <laughs> Go Gail DeGroff! Go Gail DeGroff. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment below. Let me know who your favorite teacher is. Try to spread positivity this new year. I'll see you guys later.